a lot of people actually told me that USMLE is not my cup of tea. Hey guys, my name is Gaurav Mudgal and I am an international medical graduate who has recently matched into internal medicine residency in Detroit. I'll be talking about my strategy to ace this exam of USMLE step 1. A lot of people have been asking me this question like how did you prepare USMLE step 1 in two, two and a half months? So my strategy was pretty much simple and I'll be telling you the simplest strategy that can fetch you very good score and in my scenario I scored 248 on my step 1 in just two and a half months. My journey started as a medical student who was in a government medical school uh, who started watching House MD that is a show in that is being broadcast in America. I was actually watching that show and it was so mesmerizing for me. I developed interest in pursuing my medical residency in America and due to cert certain circumstances I could not do that in my medical school. So after graduating my medical school I got into a residency program in a very renowned hospital in Delhi and along with my residency I was preparing for step one. So I'll be talking about my journey and my strategy, how I cleared everything in just two and a half months and scored 248 on my step one. I was actually in a surgery residency and surgery residency in India is very hectic and intense. You have to work a lot and your uh, schedule is pretty much tight, but I got motivated to pursue my dream. During that time, I started preparing for my step one. So, uh, there was a guy who was actually a medical student in our department. He actually motivated me to start this journey and I started preparing it. He just gave me the basic brief guidance about first aid, pathoma and new world. So I thought about it and one day I decided like I want to do it. So why not now? So I started preparing it for it and it took me two and a half months to do UVL first aid and pathoma i did it for one go i didn't do i didn't repeat it or i didn't uh, solve UVL for second time and i can assure you if you follow my method you can easily score 248 or more than that in your step one exam i started preparing in my first year of residency and in that time like if you are an intern in the department you are the junior most you have to work a lot i was actually working a lot at that time but i was also very much motivated to do and do my usmle journey so i started preparing along with it and whenever they like i used to have ors i used to have wards i used to have night duties i used to have OPDs, everything was packed, but I was determined to pursue this journey and I actually started solving U world along with first aid. So what I used to do was I'll tell you about my strategy. So let's go on. So for everyone, the backbone of preparation should be UFAP, U, U for U world. F A is first aid and P is pathoma. So for step one, your three things should be there: U world, first aid, and pathoma. So what I did was like first I bought this book first aid for step one, and I started reading it. So during my hospital rounds or during my wards or during my free time or during the lunch or dinner, I used to read this book and I had good concepts from my medical school. So that book was kind of like revising my concepts and give, giving me a constant supply of knowledge and which I was utilizing to learn new things. So how I used to study first aid was I used to decide like this topic I need to read first. So I used to select one topic like imagine cardiology so if i'm reading cardiology i started reading cardiology from front to the back to everything like from first paragraph to everything till the end of the chapter so 
in that i used to have a lot of uh, doubt and i used to search that on wikipedia and uh, i used to annotate that on my first date then after reading everything everything from first aid i used to uh, schedule my u world test my strategy for solving u world was pretty simple so i used to create uh, my block of 40 questions from a particular subject from a particular topic like consider that if you are solving microbiology so i used to create questions random questions time tutor mode from microbiology so 40 question from there and before that i have already read first aid uh, microbiology so every concept was pretty much fresh and then now i'm solving uh, u world so i i used to do like solve the question read the explanation and i used to read explanation and also other options why not other options are correct why other options are incorrect so i used to do that and i also used to like uh, read the summary because summary was also like the concise form of the answer so i used to read everything from up to down and if i find anything important that i didn't see in first aid or i thought that i might be losing that in coming time so what i used to do was like i used to create notes in my first aid i used to annotate my first aid so just like if uh, you are reading something about leptospira so leptospira i used to write like this happens like it it is spreading by this way or it is a spirochete with hook and all these things like peculiar things and now what that method gave me was like that method was actually helping me to consolidate that information in my long term memory because whenever you are uh, writing down something by actively recalling that is actually helpful in like consolidating your information into a long term memory so by that way i i was actually gaining a lot of information in first go the second was like after solving everything i used to go through first aid and the annotated uh, things in that particular section of my first aid i used to read it and revise it again and again then i used to go to another topic or another chapter and then do it again like the first read it and then solve the u world and annotate the first aid and then read and revise again so that made me retain a lot of information and after that i was like after completing uh, first aid and u uh, world i started learning pathoma i i watched pathoma videos i read book of pathoma and i kind of annotated pathoma's important information in my first aid so i took all the information from pathoma and jotted down into my first aid so first aid became my bible i i kind of like how i managed my first aid was very bad like i kind of tore everything and took out every page and uh, i i kind of put that in the binder so that i can insert pages in it or i can insert uh, a lot of things or like put uh, stickers or stick notes every kind of thing so my pet, um, first aid from this thing it became this thing so but that was actually my bible so it has pathoma u world and first aid everything was there so it took me two two months to read and uh, revise and to solve everything and then later on what i did was like i had 15 days so i started solving uh, nbmes so nbmes are very important so nbmes are kind of like mock test which you can do after your uh, after finishing your uh, first aid and u world and i i also did it like i used uh, nbmes uh, for my preparation and i got to know uh, like where i'm standing in my preparation 
after solving every NBME for step one, I I read everything, every explanation of wrong questions, right questions, and I actually annotated that into my first aid. So I was actually putting every information from other resources into my first aid. So first aid became my Bible. And after that, I solved U, U, UWSA 1 and UWSA 2 to know about my uh, preparation, like where I'm standing on my preparation. Just before five days to my exam, I had my UWorld first aid, Pathoma, NBMEs and UWSAs information into my first aid. So everything was there. So I, I used five days just to revise my first aid. So I was reading every day. Uh, initially, it took me two days to revise it. Then, uh, then two days. Then on the last day, I did one revision. So everything was consolidated in my head. And I took this exam of eight hours and I was happy that I scored really high on it. And let me assure you, if you follow this strategy, you will be standing on a very good ground. And I'm not talking about all those people who are like spending six months or 10 months or one year just to read every resource in this world for step one and scoring 250s, 260s or doing that. A lot of people don't have this leverage or like a luxury of that much time in their timeline. So for people, it's my humble request, just read these three things. New World First Aid in Pathoma, NBMEs, that is it. You don't need any other resource. And believe me, you will score really high on step one exam with these resources. So with this, I'm concluding my video and I hope I made this very clear to you that USMLE step one is not a very hard exam. It's just up to your dedication and your perseverance that you can actually do this exam in just two and a half months, like the way I did it. So with this, I'm signing off and I wish you good luck. If you have any other question or anything regarding preparation, let me know. Bye bye. Take care.